hello welcome to my channel and this video is about enumerations order waxing and in short we say all of it metadata so this chap this video examines three relatively recent additions to java language enumerations uh, we are talking about jdk 8 but now we are using the advanced version of jdk but uh, enumeration is a very important topic so that's why I am discussing it so each explains the power of the language by offering is a streamlined approach to handling common programming tasks so uh, in this video we will talk about Java type wrappers and introduces a reflection so the previous versions um, uh, lack this feature so in their simplest form java enumeration appears similar to enumeration in other language however this similarity may only skin deep because in java an enumeration defines a class type by making enumeration into classes the capability of enumeration are greatly expanded for example in java an enumeration can have constructor methods instance variable therefore although enumeration were several years in the making of java rich implementation made them well worth the wait so enumeration fundamentals an enumeration is created using the enum keyword for example here is a simple enumeration that lists various varieties of apple so here is the program and before class we are writing here enum apple and there's a variety of apple so this is then class anum demo and here is our output of anum value and to compare the anum values and here is a switch so we applied switch here is this so let's see the output of this program So here it is. So you can see the output of this program. So the identify here are the varieties of apple. So are called enumeration constants. So let's see the what are the enumeration constants and the name and varieties of apple. So these are G, these are constants. So you can see output here. So let's do go to the another example of anum. So here it is. Here we are taking the varieties of uh, mango. So this is so enumeration mango fruit here the system dot out print ln so this is the program here and this is the anum demo So here is the mango and we are printing here the here all mango constants then use values mango all mangoes and this okay so so the output will be uh, here all are all constants and the all values of apple and apple contains a wins wins okay so let's go to another example of this so here is a, a anamis cake and varieties of cake and private in price of each apple and constructor there is cake okay so then class comes 
so you can see so let's see so I'm just running a lot and I'm is here gift and this one here all gift constant and their ordinal values so this is all let's see this program so it is running successfully you can see the output here here are all gift constants and their ordinal values bag is zero book is one okay so this the book comes before cookies and cookies equals this so let's go to wrap.java so this is a demo or type wrapper package shiva foundation and this is this is not supported the uh, advanced this version that's why it's showing this okay but my motive is to only introduce you a type wrap wrapper auto wax this is our auto wax so let's run this program and see the output first is wrap we are running the program of wrapper So output will be 100 and 100. Oh, what happened to this? Oh. So it's showing the incorrect output. So let's go to another class. This is an example of auto box. We can see here. This is a new feature of JDK 8 and this is another example of auto box and this is the and we are doing this program here so let's do the auto box 3 so here is is 100 then print statement so here we are printing the original value Again, print statement. Then
so it will be after expression So this program completes completely. So let's see it. save this. So here is the program. The this uh, statement is missing. This line is so i is equal to i u p and this. Okay. So let's run this program and see the output. output is here program is successful so you can see original value of this 100 and 101 and then i between is after expression 134 and i after expression is 134 so here is the another program and we are taking it 100 here and double Then so and we are printing this after expression then so let's see what is the error here reach the file passing so we missed the bracket this oh so let's save this so you can see the output here so as you can see both double and DOP the integer IOB participate in the addition and result were rebox stored in DOB so because of auto boxing you can use integer numeric objects to control a switch statement for example consider the fragment integer IOB is equal to 2 and switch I will be in case one system dot print ln one and break and the system two and break and default system error. So you can use switch statement here. Okay. So let's go to another program of auto box. So we are doing another program of auto boxing. Unboxing and boolean character values. So this 
so this is the output the most important thing to notice about this program is the auto unboxing of p inside the if conditional expression as you should recall the the conditional expression that controls an if must evaluate to type boolean because of auto boxing the boolean value contained within b is automatically unboxed when the conditional expression is evaluated thus with the advent of auto boxing and unboxing a boolean object can be used to control an if statement because of auto unboxing a boolean object can now also be used to control any of java loop statement when a boolean is used as a conditional expression of while for or do while it is automatically unboxed into a boolean expression for example this is now perfect valid code boolean b and while so auto boxing and unboxing help to prevent errors in addition to the convenience that it offers auto boxing unboxing can also help prevent error for example the program an error produced by manual unboxing class unboxing error in public static watch string there and integer iob in 100 and this so the program displays not the expected value of um we are not discussing about this error or preventing because it's not so important i will upload this program on github you can go and see there so let's put important factors important points here annotation metadata Here we, we are taking class meta. An annotation is created through a mechanism based on the interface. So let's see the one example. Uh, so here we are importing Java land notation. Import dot. no dot here java dot lang and annotation okay then we are importing another is java lang reflect reflect and this okay so here is public class meta so we don't want to make it public annotation type declaration so here is interface my no and string then int class matter a method equal to annotation
देन पब्लिक स्टैटिक वर्ड में मेटा then obtain the annotation for this method and display the value of the members so here we are using try monitoring errors first get a class object that represent this class so error is class Now get method object that represent this method through method m. So method m and c dot get method. get method my math get the annotation for this class my n is n dot get annotation my n class then finally display the values system dot out print allen then catch no such method exception then system dot out print ln method not found
then public static void main string ARGS So you can see this program here is uh, class meta and we already defined string here that side showing error okay so it's not an error okay so let's go to another program and this program uh, is uh, uses reflection as described to obtain a display the value of string uh, well and my annotations associated with my math and the meta class there are two things to pay special attention to first in this line is my anno and anno m got annotation my anno class so this one so class and here is meta dot class so notice the expression my anno dot class this expression values to class object of type my n so the annotation this construct is class is called a class literal you can use this type of expression whenever a class object of a known class is needed for example this statement could have been used to obtain the class object format of course this approach only works when you know the class name of an object in advance which might not always be this case in general you can obtain a class literal for classes interfaces primitives class arrays remember this uh, syntax this syntax of to register java generics this this syntax so i am pointing here this syntax is to java generics feature so we'll describe this in our coming chapters coming videos and so the second point of interest is the way value associated with str and val are obtained when they are output by the following line system dot print allen anno class you can see this line so notice that they are invoked using method call syntax so this same approach is used whenever the value of an annotation member is required so let's see the second example of reflection so we are doing another program and we are taking the we are doing the, the same program doing some changes okay so let's get this retention policy runtime retention policy dot run time so annotation are to be recorded in the class file by the compiler retained by the vm run time so they may read reflectively so you can see details here okay so here is runtime then interface my n and string int value everything is same i think and my math now has two arguments so my math has two arguments so let's copy ecstatic void main string my math and this so let's my n str add two parameters well 90 and value is here 90 then here my math and string okay 
then matter object new matter try here is class this is this this is same then the same then here the parameter types are specified method m c dot get my math string class and int class then then my anu I get patient in my anu class then system dot print ln n and we do some changes here catch no such method exception and system dot print ln method not found and everything will be same so let's remove this here okay so here the parameter types are specified method m c dot get method then my math string class string dot class and here int dot class okay and here test So this program is completed now you can see here so in this version my math takes a string and int parameter to obtain information method m z here so here the class object represent 